we're getting ready to leave this spot and I haven't shown you the National Schoolie Graphic flowers in this location yet. Some of the flowers here are really the same as at our other locations, except for all the purple ones. I'm not sure if you can see them very much in this meadow. Some of the other meadows we've been at, or when you're driving past, you just see a ton of purple. And I couldn't figure out what it was. And it's these cute little purple clusters. I don't really know what they are because I've never seen anything like them before but certain meadows are just completely filled with them and you just see purple all the way across. I'm just cutting a couple of them to press into my little memory book from being in Greer. And there's these tall purple flowers over here too. Everything's in purple and white in this whole meadow, so pretty. Here we go. Ah, entering the rear. We're here. Well, almost. We're going right through the center of town in our big old bus. Hey, there's a little cutie. Uh, it's actually a turnaround in the church right here. Okay, so we're on our way back through town at this point after turning around. There's the short bus coffee shop. There is the, what is it called? The Plenty of room. Diner. We came all the way into the town of Greer in the bus so we could upload a video from the computer so we would have better internet, right? It's not happening. We're still using our phone to upload a video. Yeah, let's talk about internet for a second here. Internet you guys. on the road. Internet on the road, okay? So when we moved into the bus in the area that we lived in, there was ample cell service. Cities tend to have ample cell service. Once we got on the road, we realized that the internet service we use for the bus, it's a T-Mobile based internet um, or cell service and uh, it's garbage, absolute garbage. So then I started calling around. You can generally get a much better deal on um, mobile internet through one of the companies that subcontracts from like Verizon or T-Mobile or whoever's out there, right? So I went out looking for one that worked on the Verizon network. I started to find multiple companies and then they have multiple tiers of of service. They'll have like the low level tier, the mid level, and the high level tier. Or they'll have the low level, uh, home, and rural. And I was interested, what's the rural about? And so I called them because their, their sites don't tell you anything. And they, they do not betray on their site the carrier that they're using. But they will show you a map, and it's generally a map stolen from a T-Mobile or a Verizon or whoever. And so I started calling and asking. I said, look, I need a service that runs on Verizon. Oh, you're going to need our rural package, sir. Call the next company. Oh, you're going to need our premium package, sir, because our other package work on the T-Mobile network. Our premium package works on the Verizon. Our rural package works on the Verizon, so on and so forth. So it turns out that if you are gonna be boondocking in places like we are, you're not gonna get T-Mobile there. Now, in our last spot, we were up very remote. I was able to barely get some T-Mobile service using high gain antennas pointed at this thing. And yet I still, like we couldn't, it wasn't enough to like do anything with. Um, but in our, our cell phones, with the, our Weeboos turned off, we were able to stream movies on our cell phones in this middle of nowhere. So, word of the wise. 
if you're going to get some kind of internet connection for your bus, find a subcontractor that works with Verizon and get that service. Get the one and make sure they're not selling you anything else. Get the Verizon one and you'll be happier. Because right now we're sitting here in a, in a town, get this, we get 100% signal on T-Mobile and our upload and download speeds are like 0.01 megabits. Like nothing. We Our computer doesn't recognize it as internet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so like that's how bad it is. It's oh absolutely, my gosh. absolutely worthless. Uh -huh. I'm just like that's so terrible. bummed we went that route in the first place, but you will pay more for the Verizon service. We're going to be bouncing up from about $90 to $129 a, a month, month yeah. for our internet service. But that's going to get us 300 gigs of back and forth. And, you know, basically, you're, uh, if you do five hours of TV watching a night for 30 days, you will use 150 gigs of data. And that's just watching television. So keep that in mind when you're kind of trying to estimate. So it's about one gig per hour is what you're using when you're streaming TV. So use that when you're estimating what you need. We just decided to get the premium plan from the company we used. Yeah. And we used Fire Wi-Fi is the name of the company that we're using right now. And we'll let you know if it sucks. Because we just went from doing four uploads a month to doing nine uploads a That's month. That's right. So. so I guess if you don't have those kind of needs, if you don't have a YouTube channel, you might not need this kind of package. Yeah. Right? Now we're going to take this phone right here that I just copied the our 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 uh, video video onto, and stick it over here next to the Wee Boost to get the very best signal we can possibly get. Our Wee Boost antenna is hiding under here. Right there. And. We are going to start a new upload. Look what Carrie's doing. We're so fortunate we don't have to lick the backs of stamps anymore these days. They're just peel and stick. She did have an episode with the uh, envelopes though. I know, these are the worst tasting envelopes ever. I swear next time I'm going to the store, I'm going to lick them first and taste them like, who is it, Sandra Bullock? and. <laughs> Uh, two weeks notice. Two weeks notice, remember that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess we're getting ready to take a little walk through downtown Greer, Arizona. It's another one of those like one main street through town kind of towns. It's not even through town. It's like to one end and then you have to turn around. Oh, you turn and go yeah. back. It's a very small town. Very small. At a very high elevation. So I'm probably going to die just walking to the post office. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do this. Let's do it. It's like a tunnel in there. Look how cute and eerie it is. I'm not sure where it goes or if I should really be in here. Right? I do expect to see trolls at any turn. Or muskrats, because there's muskrats. Muskrats? How do you know? Muskrat Sally. Muskrat Sam. Okay, we made it through the tunnel. <laughs> oh, scared. Look at all those flowers over there, though, the purpling ones. Oh, they're giant thistles. Eeyore would be stoked for, for once in his life. No, he wouldn't. <laughs> He'd be gloomy because they're too tall to reach. <laughs> but we've stayed. We've buried from our mission. It was a rabbit trail. It was a rabbit trail. Do you have the letters? Of course I have the letters. Oh, that was a fun little adventure over the little Colorado. Here's the giant thistles right here. That one's as tall as me for sure. Look at this big bad boy right here. They're so pretty. This is actually my mom's favorite flower. I've never seen them bloom like that. Before. I've never seen them grow this tall before. I didn't know they're such a pretty shade of purple. Either. Yeah. Oh, my glasses are really helping. 
<laughs> so I did some interesting research of the area. And this place in particular has some interesting history. So Molly Butler, uh, she used to be called the grandma of, the, of Greer. And um, a lot of famous people have come up here. John Wayne, a lot of writers, um, even presidents. And one in particular was, uh, was it, uh, I want to say it was Hoover. Yeah. Hoover came here and he passed on to Molly Butler the presidential um, recipe. recipe book. And the prime rib served here is based on the, the presidential prime rib recipe. Uh, recipe. Out of the White House. So I thought that was very interesting. Yeah. We made it to the post office of Greer, Arizona. It was like a block away. I got the goods. I got you covered. All right. Insert down. the letters. That's it. The eaglets have flown from the nest. That's right. You guys can also get a sticker. Go over to our Etsy store and get a sticker. Do it now. And Just we're mailing well for, we're from wherever we're from at. God, I can't even talk right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just go over there, pause the video. Now's the time. Just pause the video. We'll wait and for we'll you. And we'll mail it from wherever we're at. Cafe. Right? If you take a picture of the sticker with you in it, we'll send you a sticker for free. That's right. You have to take a picture, proof where it didn't happen. That's right. The owner of this place says he sits outside and he'll drink a beer and he'll look up on the mountain with a tripod with binoculars trying to spot a bear because this is bear country. Oh, and he just sits out there and cool. watches. It. It's pretty neat. There's what he was telling us about how the glass got broken out of the window so they replaced it with stained glass of Smokey the Bear. That is so cute. Wow, what a great job. I like the antique bottle collection here too. Alright Mike, I can go ahead and put you guys down at that table right over there. Perfect. Whenever you're ready. This is where I was sitting when we, uh, when I had to come up, upload the last video and it took hours and I had to come to town to do it just to get self, self service. <laughs> While I was in the dungeon editing. Yeah. That was super fun and so delish. I think we might come back in the morning for some cobbler and coffee. Yes, yeah, so apparently they specialize in the cobbler, but they should specialize in the chili cheese fries because those are delicious. I know, we oh forgot to pick up the camera and film because it was like our- a pile. Yeah, our food came and we were just like awestruck and we and just started like, like nomming Seasoned on fries it. with delicious chili. It wasn't yeah. like your run-of-the-mill Denny's chili No, it was fries, like man. someone made it at home for you. It was so Gourmet. delicious. Gourmet. It was delicious, man. Yeah. The owners are cool. Like everybody, they're super, super cool. They came over and saw the bus. Super neat, man. Yeah, we had a fun time. And the hummingbirds, everything. It was just awesome hanging out there. You felt like you were hanging out on a friend's front porch. Yeah, it was kind of like that. Than it, was, a restaurant. it was a good place, man. Okay, good place. here we are. Back to the bus. Yeah, we had to walk like a whole block. 100 feet at least. Right. It's pretty nice being parked right out front of all the places we're going. It would be nice if every place had bus park, Bussy Big Bus Face parking. <laughs> right? <laughs> like this place reserved for Bussy Big Bus Face, that'd be great. Yeah, that's not too much to ask, is it? 40 feet plus? <laughs> Wonder how the bus is going to do climbing this steep hill. So, 
let me just tell you a little story about what happens when you leave your camp spot to go into town on a Saturday. When you come back, there are no spots available. So we tried to go back to the sheep corral. We've been driving around for like an hour scouting for spots. And there are hundreds of spots, don't get me wrong, but there's either an RV or a whole cluster of RVs in every spot. It's like razor weekend or something up here, man. Like we have seen nothing but like, razors, huge groups of like yeah, 20 razors 20 at a time. Razors, it's just, almost like there's some event going on that we don't know about or like, something. Yeah. But maybe it's always like this in Greer on a Saturday, who knows? Yeah. So now instead of having, you know, a pristine view at the edge of a meadow, at the edge of a tree line, now we're on the main road. <laughs> where all the traffic and all the side-by-sides will be coming right by our bus. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell or not, but I'm not very excited about our place that we're staying for the next night or two, <laughs> whatever it turns out to be. I really think that honestly, like it's Sunday's tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow afternoon, we're probably gonna see vehicles coming and going from this spot. And if that's the case, then we're gonna be in business. That's what we're hoping for. <sighs> so we're learning our lessons the hard way about life on the road in a bus. I could think of workplaces to park. I could think of worse lessons to learn. I mean, it's not like we're having to learn to adapt to life in prison or something, <laughs> right? So a noisy, crappy spot could be a lot worse. Could be a noisy, crappy cell <laughs> with a terrible cellmate. At least my bunkmate is my best friend. <laughs> Listen, this is far better than, how could you even compare this to prison life? <laughs> Look at this. Hey, I was trying to make a point that there could be worse things. Prison was just what I came up with for that example. That is terrible. <laughs> that was a terrible, terrible. <laughs> okay, it's too windy for me up here. I'm going in. for us to stay this summer. I'm freezing. You're crazy. Crazy about you. It's been wonderful all day and I'm crazy about you And too. you're just complained about being chilly just now. I wasn't complaining. I was just noting. Oh. It's a big difference between the way you handle it and the way I handle it. Duly noted. <laughs> it's cold. We agree. It's chilly, not cold. You don't see me rushing for Let's not mince our words. <laughs> you don't see me running for a jacket or anything. We're at another new location on Sheep Corral Road near Greer, Arizona. This isn't Sheep Corral Road. This what? is like Forest Road something something But something. off of Sheep Corral Road. No. I'm trying to tell you, Sheep Corral Road is the road that goes off of this road. We're here at yet another location near Sheep Corral Road, near Greer, Arizona. We didn't have to move, but we wanted to. We've been waiting because the weekend was so busy. We've been waiting for some good spots to open up. So today we took a little reconnoiter and we found this spot, which is, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. The bus isn't as level as we'd like, front to back. It's a little bit tilted nose forward, but other than that, this place is beautiful. What is that one? One what? That's Christmas tree branches on that one. Well, it looks very blue to me. Blue spruce? You think so? You know, I don't know my pine trees. Ask me about cactus. I can tell you about cactus all day long. Right. And mesquite trees and all the things that grow and the desert. dwell in the desert. Right, yeah, but get me up here in the mountains. I don't know what's going on. There's flowers everywhere that I've never seen before. I can't necessarily distinguish all the different types of trees from each other. 
I'm lost up here. You're sitting in flowers right now. Oh, and let me tell you about the mushrooms. <laughs> oh, what? There's all these mushrooms growing around here. And when you have come, you know, when you're a desert dweller and you don't know anything about mushrooms, you just treat them all as if they're poisonous. You just don't touch them. Out here, yeah, there's a bunch of different ones. I guess we should bone up on that. Become mushroomers? Yeah, we could just collect mushrooms and survive off mushrooms. And you could stop shaving your armpits and stuff. It'd be awesome. Why not? We live in a bus. We might as well become hippies. That's right. Stinky <laughs> hippies. <laughs> you already are a stinky hippie. <laughs> so in our last video, you saw we had a fire, right? And we had a little scare because um, I read something on the National Forest Service website that they were following the White Mountain Fire District's um, a request that there be no fires and so we had this fire but we read yeah, that no, after we, we had the fire we panicked and we thought we were going to have to like delete our video footage from the last time we had a yeah, fire totally so <laughs> to avoid the fines or yeah something. right <laughs> it's one thing to have a fire and somebody across the valley sees you and flips you off or something but it's another thing when you put it up there in front of thousands of people yeah, you, you want to make sure you know the rules. And we were very certain. I mean, I follow all that stuff. Yeah. I watch RV Miles, and he keeps me informed, So, which his name is not Miles, by the way. I always assumed that the guy on RV Miles was named Miles. Is it RV Tom? His name is Jason. RV Jason. <laughs> yeah. RV Miles with Jason Epperson. And he will keep you informed of everything that's going on in the travel world and RV community. And so I watched that to stay abreast and keep up on the news. And I knew that the fire restrictions had been lifted with our prolific monsoon we've right. been having this year. But yeah, then you read that. and I read that on the National Forest website. And then I went to, then I asked one of the guys he says i don't think the, so yeah. and then another truck came by that was national force so asked them they're like no no we lifted that back in like june or july or something like that because all the monsoons and stuff and i said well it's on your website i said something he's on what website i'm like national forest service he's like oh <laughs> so uh he, they, i guess they're going to make that little change important change but anyway what that leads to is us being able to sit out here by a campfire and Get smoke in our face. Well, Carrie is. I've decided to finally move well, to this side. Well, smoke follows beauty, as everyone knows. <sighs> she got scolded by a jaybird. She's skulking around like a predator. You think? <laughs> you hear the squirrels? They're just going off in there. Mama Kitty's been chasing them. They're having a little conniption fit. I can't even see them. All I can do is hear them. I think they are cussing her out. I have never heard them go that crazy for that long before. They are having a little squirrel conniption fit. Can you see that little thing in there? It's a it's a little vole. Mama Kitty caught a vole, but then she let it go. It's so tiny and cute. Ah, it's on me. Where'd it go? It jumped. Obviously, Mama Kitty believes in catch and release. Well, here we are again, not being vegetarian. Oh, these aren't just ordinary hamburgers right here, folks. These are Carrie's super duper special blue cheeseburgers, and they're stuffed blue cheeseburgers. You can see the blue cheese little pieces in there trying to get out. Ah, oh, this is gonna be amazing. Look at that right there. Blue cheese escaping. Amazing. Oh yeah. Mm. 
That was your, that was mm -hmm. a little thicker. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is so ridiculously good. You know, it's always better when you cook over a fire, but it's even better when you cook over like a natural fire. It always is better. Absolutely. You walk the walk on this one. I walked the stuffed burger walk on this one. You, did, you nailed this to the wall. This is good. <laughs> wow. I've never had a blue cheese burger like made like that though. I liked how you stuffed it like With between two patties. With enough blue cheese, right? Mm -hmm. Normally people like just crumble it on top. I, at a restaurant right. or something, that's what you would get. And that is the lamest blue cheeseburger I've ever heard of. I was taught to crumble the blue cheese and the hamburger meat all together. But I decided not to do that on our grill tonight because I, I thought of how many pockets of cheese would just melt away into the coals and be wasted. And that's why I encased the blue cheese yeah. with patties of meat. This was a hot fire tonight. To protect their blue cheesy deliciousness. Mm -hmm. The smoky flavor Bravo. and the blue cheesy flavor together. Mm -hmm. That's why. Magnifico. You know, I'm sorry, but Hank Hill was wrong. It's, gas is not the best way to cook. you got to cook over a fire. You need mm -hmm. that charboiled deliciousness. Mm -hmm. A real wood fire. Charcoal briquettes are for city slickers. That's right. <laughs> oh, hi, kitty. Are you coming up? Come on up, <coughs> Come on. Oh, there's my little lap, kitty. See my little lap, kitty. Squirrel Scooby Snacks. Look at this. It looks like something picked this mushroom and ate it. All the way off, all the way around. How crazy is that? Do squirrels do that? So is it a good rule of thumb that like if animals eat it, it's okay for humans to eat it? Inquiring minds want to know. I knew you guys weren't going to believe it if you didn't see it for yourselves. We're actually having salad for dinner tonight. <laughs> this is the vegetarian portion that we speak of, but you never see because we only film on like carnivorous <laughs> nights know. for some reason. It's weird. That's so true. <laughs> <laughs> and just so you know, it's another vegetarian meal night. Stuffed baked potatoes. Delish. Absolutely delicious. One of our faves. Mm -hmm. 